Oh, hello there. Didn't see you there. Uh, today is November 20th, and it is my 54th hyperbaric session. It's Tuesday. I didn't go yesterday. Um, if you saw my last video, which was on Friday last week, on the 16th, I was pretty weak. Um, I still am weak, so that's why I skipped yesterday. And yesterday, I went to um, all of my doctors, and and uh, pretty much we we figured out that I need to do uh, total parenteral nutrition again, which is IV nutrition that goes straight into your bloodstream. And it's going to give me, instead of an additional 1,200 calories like I was doing before, uh, it's going to go at a rate of maybe 70 or 80 milliliters per hour for about 10 hours. So I'll get maybe 800 calories at most, something like that, which is great. And because it'll give me all the nutrients that I need, all the vitamins I need, and hopefully I'll stop, stop feeling so weak. Um... Yeah, so hopefully that helps. But after today's hyperbaric session, uh, felt great. I felt great during it. Felt great after it. Besides for the the weakness, um, like I'm so weak I can't even walk upstairs anymore. I did walk up the stairs, and it was a marathon. It was the most intense amount of stairs I've ever walked, and it was just two flights, and I was so exhausted. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll get back on TPN, I'll get stronger from that, and uh, continue my hyperbaric sessions. Since today is my 54th session, that means I have about six left. Um, it's Thanksgiving week right now, so we have Thanksgiving in two days. And uh, since I'm so weak, I'm not even going to go tomorrow. Uh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna hold off, I'm just going to build my strength back up, and then... Um, just hit it hard next week when I go next week for it won't be the final week because I'm also taking two days off anyways I'll get I'll get into that later um during the hyperbaric sessions I I felt great and it's uh it was different today because I had two pop tarts and about 300 milliliters of water in the morning, uh, when I woke up after I drained maybe like 300 milliliters, not even much this morning. I don't even think I drained actually. Um, yeah, not really. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty cool. So I had two Pop Tarts, 300 milliliters of water, kept it inside me for about um, three hours, maybe four hours. And, and then. Uh, what else did I do? I've been keeping a log of everything, so I also an extra large Slurpee from 7-Eleven. That wasn't smart, of course, but I just got this sweet tooth that I can't get rid of, so sorry about that. Um, I had that at 12 o'clock this afternoon. I also ate some orange chicken from a place called Yoshi Noya or something, some Japanese restaurant. But it's not really a Japanese restaurant because once you go inside, it seems pretty Americanized. And then they also sell clam chowder inside there. Who does that? And flan? This is not a Japanese restaurant. But the orange chicken is pretty good. I mean, it tastes like uh, Panda Express orange chicken, but just like not as tangy or not as a uh, oh, I'm getting off topic again sorry um so I ate that drank that 50 minutes later 5050 minutes later I drained about 450 milliliters then at 130 I drained uh, 800 milliliters and then I drank 500 milliliters um, drank an additional 400 milliliters Ate some Pringles. 3.30. Drained 450 milliliters. Ate a brownie. 
which was about 220 calories. Shouldn't have eaten the brownie, but I mean, I, I kind of just want to get those calories in, even though they're not good vitamins or nutrients, but ah, oh well. And then 515, I drank 300 milliliters and also drained 600 milliliters. So that was about two hours after I ate the brownie and the Pringles and all that. Um, I feel pretty good right now besides for the weakness I, I just need I just need some good nutrients and vitamins inside me um, I don't know I don't have a plan for that yet but I think what I need to do is probably talk to a nutritionist figure out everything about me just pretty much get a whole Get a whole rundown about my body, uh, what I'm allergic to, what's best for me. Um, I don't know what nutritionists do, but I want them to study, analyze, and give me a report back about what I am and what I can eat and what I cannot eat. Um, for hyperbaric-wise, uh, massive improvements from before. I couldn't have eaten Pop-Tarts or the water uh, 60 sessions ago, but now I can. So that's proof enough that this stuff is is doing something, is making a change, making a difference, making my life a lot better of quality. I don't have to walk around um, draining out of my stomach 24-7. I can just I can just plug it. I can just just go on, do my own thing. Nobody even knows. I mean, I don't care if they see it, but nobody even knows. But I got this tube in me. Um, yeah, 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 life will be fine. I'll just be doing TPN from 10 p.m. all the way through the night to 6 a.m., unhook from that, and I'll also be doing hydration, so I'll probably put in like an extra uh, three liters of water in me. Um, so that's taken care of for all my nutrients, all my calories, and then in the daytime from 6 a.m. all the way to 10, I can just eat and drink whatever I want um, while my intestines continue to heal. And then hopefully eventually I don't need that TPN anymore or, or tube feeding or drinking shares. Um, I don't know. I may start drinking protein shakes to see how that works. Uh, they seem pretty thick and like the wrong thing to do. But someone in my hyperbaric uh, session today said that try protein shakes again. I mean, I tried them a long time ago. Terrible idea, but you always got to go back and try the things that didn't work just to confirm if they still don't work. I mean, it'll be a good indicator to see how much I've grown since then. But uh, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for listening to me uh, ramble on for a long time. And uh, click that subscribe button or that like button if you like this video. And my name is Mason again. And it was great serving you i'm gonna work my catchphrases i don't know whatever goodbye thank you